This review looks at some hammer accessories made by YCC of Taiwan. 4011 is for Komatsu 200 series excavators. 4021 is mainly for 300 series Komatsu models. 4031 is for Caterpillar 330 and 336 models. And 4041 is 132 scale and is for Joel Komatsu 400 series excavators. They all come essentially in the same kind of packaging, which is just a plain white box. And just as an example, we'll open up the largest of the boxes to see what's inside. The accessory is well protected by foam rubber, and inside it's contained within just a resealable plastic bag. There are no instructions provided with the accessory, and the only other parts are a couple of transfers which can be stuck onto the hammer if that's how you'd like to display it. Each of the four hammers reviewed here are the same in terms of the way they are made. The internal parts seem to be resin and the chisel moves as if it was a hammer. And the outer casting is die cast metal which is made and finished very well. It's got some good details within the casting. And details such as the connecting pins are well engineered and well finished. It's not clear which real hammers these accessories are modelled after but they look pretty good. Looking at the smallest of the hammers they've all got a neat little feature which is that by pushing out the pin that secures the chisel you can remove the chisel, so if it goes a bit blunt as you smash up your display case, you can change the tool at any time. Putting it back in is just a reverse process, you just need to make sure that the slot in the chisel lines up with the hole where the pin fits, and when you've done that you can just push the pin in, and that uh, cleverly secures the chisel. We'll now look at fitting one of the hammers, and this will vary depending on the base model that you're fitting the hammer to. We'll fix this hammer to a Caterpillar 336DL and the first thing is we'll apply the transfers. Of course you don't have to apply them but if you want to you just soak them in water for a few moments and when they're wet you take them out and then the transfer will slide off of the backing card. And then you need to apply it in position on the hammer itself. While it's still wet it's possible to move the transfer about a little just to line it up and get it in position. This is not a difficult job, but like always, you just want to try and get it looking professional and neat. We can now fit the hammer, and on the Caterpillar 336, this is really easy because the bucket's on a quick hitch mechanism, and so the hammer just slots in. For some of the other hammers, you might have to drill out the rivets on the base model, which is a little bit more tricky. But for this Caterpillar, it's easy and straightforward. Although the hammer is relatively heavy, it doesn't unbalance the Caterpillar model, and nor does it restrict any of the movement at the end of the stick. Overall, these hammers are nicely made accessories by YCC. There's enough interesting detail for them to improve the models they're fitted to, and the only things to think about are the fitting to the base models and the relatively high cost of the parts. But apart from that, they're highly recommended. Mm -hmm.